Guys. What is this email I just Nintendo sent me? Mario versus Donkey Kong game? And who the fuck is this nerdy kid right there? Who the fuck is that? Fuck. Mild fantasy violence. Okay. Um, sorry, I was actually gonna stream this at like 4 p.m. But I don't know if you can tell, but I can't breathe out of my nose. I've been trying for hours. I can breathe out of one, but who cares? But yeah, I have terrible allergies right now. First the fucking season. Today. Today, today, somebody is ignoring me today. Somebody is ignoring me who shouldn't be ignoring me. So, I'm gonna be playing a Colonel Sanders dating game. I'm kidding, nobody's ignoring me. I'm just, somebody's not responding, but I want them to. So, we're playing Colonel Sanders. I love you, Colonel Sanders. A a finger licking good dating similar Simu simulator I'm so excited I'm so excited I'm meeting my idol guys I, I think the last time I had KFC was like exactly a year ago or something I have nothing against KFC I actually like KFC but um I don't want that money. I just, um, I don't know. It's just not a place I go very often. I go to McDonald's, so I'm loyal to McDonald's. Okay, this is pissing me off. Look at my stupid Pikachu blanket that I've had since I was like seven. Whoa, my like headphones in my ear just went. <laughs> These are just like so old. Choking, choking. They're like three years old, four now. Four years old now. Anyway, so I've never played this game. Haven't seen anything about it. I've only seen that Colonel Sanders is in it, of course. I've never, I don't think I've ever actually played a dating game before. So it's a new experience. That's always fun. So let me load it up. Oh my god, I have to download the virus. Oh my god, is it gonna use my real name? Wait, is this this better? I can I've played games before that have seen like completely fine, and then they're like a horror game in the middle. If that happens. I will quit life. I'm gonna quit streaming. I'm gonna lock myself in my room. And just like, nobody's ever gonna see or hear of me again. So it's it's downloading right now. I thought I already did, I already did download it. I guess I only downloaded it to Steam. Yeah, this was on Steam for free, so you can play it if you want. Why is it not loading? It's taking so long. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I was like, I'm always so scared of my microphone being muted now. It's insane. Oh god. I also I got my braces readjusted on Valentine's Day. My tongue's so well. On Valentine's Day. Right? So I like I got home no, I I got home from like the orthodontist, right? And I got look at this 
lovely child that I can make a flexing guys. I've already eaten half of it. But the love of my life got me this. I don't think I've ever said anything about liking Reese's. But I I love Reese's. Like, it's been my childhood favorite for like so long. A Reese's lover lovers collection. And it has hold on. Like, all my favorite things. It has th one of these, only one, which I'm mad about, but the big cup. And then the fucking sticks. I was not expecting that. These, I I've had these once, and I love them. I can't think of anything else that was in here. There's also, like, Reese's Minis. And a whole ass bar. There was, there was another one of this, and there's another one of these sticks. And another one of these. Oh my goodness. Get yourselves a man who can give you all this. Hey, why is this file not downloaded yet? What the fuck? It's actually taking so long. You don't need this long to download a fucking dating app. Like, not, okay. Dating game, not app, sorry. <laughs> a dating app. No, oh my god, a dating game. Period. I also got this. What the fuck? Oh, this. You have to like. It comes with this little thing, and you have to pull like that to open it, which is so satisfying. And then you open it like that. And in here, there's like jelly beans, there's heart gummies. And Hershey's Kisses, I don't like Hershey's Kisses unless they have stuff inside them. That's just me with chocolate, I don't like shit unless there's stuff inside. And I can't have like any of this, my teeth hurt so bad. Okay, if this doesn't load, we're gonna play Stardew Valley. Okay, okay, it's loading. I think it heard me. It's been 10 minutes and I'm still not playing the game. This is not good customer service. I'm gonna leave a two-star review on Steam, depending on how the game works. Even. I swear to God, if this game crashes or like anything. I've never had a game like crash for me before while streaming. I don't. Think. I'll be so mad. Oh yeah, my desk is like a whole mess. Okay, it's going. It's almost done, guys. It's almost done. I swear. This is so much stuff on my desk. Oh yeah. I think I mentioned I'm eating these right now. I can't see myself. These like little Easter egg things, but they're filled with peanut butter inside. They're so good that they hurt so bad on my teeth. I don't care. They're so good. I just. You're just gonna hear me eating those, just like, throughout the stream. <sighs> Sorry. <coughs> okay, it's like, there's like, this much left. That much. What files are required for this? Like, is it downloading all my personal information? It's been 12 minutes. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now I have to install everything. <laughs> Guys. Oh, it's already done. It's it, okay. Let's go. Okay. Guys, we're gonna be playing the game. Oh god! Oh, we're playing. Where's go? Wait! I have to switch my thing. Okay, stop the music. Let's go. I was not expecting it.
Oh my god. <gasps> that was amazing. I heard something move. Anyway. Oh my god. Let's go. That was so awesome. Man, okay, we'll just put. I guess we we'll use my name. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm gonna have to narrate through all this. Okay. This <laughs> is the worst time. You, s you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your mod modest student apartment. The world is a peaceful and serene. You can stay in the, in the moment forever. Or you can wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Oh my god, this choice. Smack that alarm clock. <laughs> Lying in bed. Lying in bed. We stare at the ceiling thinking about everything that awaits you. The prestigious University of Cooking School Academy. Acad Academy for learning. Uh, for learning. Your mind begins to water. Wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and why are you imagining getting away from it? We need to take this seriously! I better make it, make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You bust through your morning checklist, teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized, nothing can stop you now. Confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to your class. Just what you need to get your blood flowing. Okay, hold on. Why do people brush their teeth and then eat? Like in the morning, I mean, like. Like, pre I don't. I don't do that. No. Okay. Sorry. Anyway. Um, yeah. So why do people brush their teeth in the morning? If, like, after, before you eat, or whatever, right? Because, like, I don't get it anyway. Here comes your lifelong best friend, oh, forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Alec! Are you excited for the first day the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm <laughs> I sure am. Excited. A little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. I'm scared though. What the Sorry. Guys. 
Is it? Is just. Oh my god. It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself. But while I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm not good? What if I fail? <laughs> Classic Mary. <laughs> Raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to the very highest standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and rescued me, and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you are the most loving, caring person I know, and you're going to do great. <laughs> <laughs> but the University of Cooking School Academy for learning famous three-day-only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair in her dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she shifted to practicing on a mannequin. Nobody. She practiced her or changed the subject to give her some relief. Let's let's make sure. Remember last month how we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? Hmm. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. She told you that you were going, you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower? And the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? The From, I'm getting like phasmophobia PTSD here. I've been waiting so long to meet a handsome fellow I can call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In total time, we'll be graduating. And you'll be delighting, delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her heart, her nerves beginning to ease. Did I pick the right question? Did I answer? You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if it's if not, at least I have these killer. <laughs> Can you believe I cut them myself? <laughs> you can definitely believe it. Uh, I uh, cannot believe it. Before you get another word out, you're brutally interrupted by someone smacks you with books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. <gasps> hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there. Chicken cheese. You leave Alex Shins alone. They are perfectly normal. They are, they are perfectly normal Shins. Uh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You feel for a fact. You feel. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel much better than everyone. If anyone here knows what perfect shins like, it's us. This is such a weird conversation. We're not going to let you or let you or your weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can. See him casually working out his glints while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking. Ahem. <laughs> Van Van. <laughs> you recognize? <laughs> You've never been so sure that their arrange- that- what their argument is. Arrangement? Yes. But as long as you've- you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have- have been just as close as you, Mary, but substantially more devious. <laughs> what is that? 
I cannot believe the university of Brooklyn is so academic for learning what allow ever allow anyone like you to attend as students. I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? Or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could just could learn a lot from us. I'm so bad at reading oh my god. With the face with the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you resist your urge. Let's go, Miriam. Uh, see you later, loser. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Ah! Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. <laughs> Uh, I think you meant thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. My name's Alex, so. Are you going to make me hold the door, this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building and head over. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. You both shrug, sh shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit chatting. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, so why is it 4 p.m.? Or 12, sorry. It's like 12 to or something. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. <sighs> Are you serious? <laughs> what the fuck? Spring. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unnecessarily cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCS Al. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and uh, cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect for him. What a cute dog! What a cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuisances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, begin wind begins to rush around as a school of cherry blossoms petal fill the air inside the classroom. It's chilly. Somebody close the window, and then. He <laughs> here he is swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. <laughs> who anyone know? Who, who knew anyone could be this so handsome? Time stands still. <gasps> it's him! It's if it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders, Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across my brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you. And you're not entirely wrong. <sighs> and this over here must be sweaty, sweatsable. <laughs> Maybe we should open the window, with that window back up, before the fast faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on just a second. 
Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with when what is with all your really weird insults? Bes besides, when Alex sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. It's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some breakfast. So silly. Welcome to University of Cooking University of Cooking School, Academic Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood, there might even be really adorable tiny food. <sighs> and when and when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sports and complete the brume cooking arena. And just then another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Fuck is this guy? Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss quiet. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue, you were you were on the fast tracks out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him like. Does nobody remember me? I'm... You're expelled! If you utter one more word, I... Before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town in his tiny wheels. You're trying to see the, the student sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> the class bursts into laughter. What is that? Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands up in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. A multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had to talk had a talking dog as a teacher before. But Sprinkle's reputation for being smart is tough. But but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket one more time. I'm gonna guess, because this is like based on Pearl Sanders, a short snack. I feel like 90% of intimate games take place in this classroom. This is actually an academic, so you know, it's just classroom. You reach beneath your apron and return with a kitchen snack in your hand. Chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes goes wide as he locks onto it. His favorite! See, it's so odd. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for a new star student. A furry professor immediately devours a snack. Leave your hands slick with, co with a coating of warm doggy drool. Gross. You see another student eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If, you, if they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. <laughs> Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare your minds. Op and have your minds open to the amazing possibility of culinary creation. As everyone... <coughs> As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seat, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options were made. <laughs> hey, Alec, there's still there's still a seat here. It seems no one's claimed the seat next to you if you're interested. 
What type of question is this? Um, who should I sit by? Should I sit by Miriam or Colonel Sanders? Uh, I feel like... I feel like that's literally what the point of the game is. is just to sit by Colonel Sanders. Is it not? Like... What should I pick? We have to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought notebooks, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect optimistic posture shows off the seriousness that makes you that makes you confident in his his desire to learn. What do you mean? He has a pen right here. What do you mean? Thanks for offering me this seat. I I only had two rules. Do all you can, do all you can, and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. He's so inspiring. A little off topic, you asked me, but okay. As soon as you settle into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast! It's time for a pop quiz! You seem to go with me. Yay, a quiz about me. This is incredibly important and surprising short quiz. Well, tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If <laughs> Oh my god. If A, if train A is traveling to point B, it train B is traveling to point A. How important is it to wash your hands with one for two? Holy fuck. Extremely! Washing your hands is always important, okay? I cook in a fucking kitchen. Five days a week, okay? It's important. Wash your hands. That's right. Hold on, I'm just making sure I set, okay, just making sure I set my scenes to the gameplay. Okay, forest is to tree as chicken is to feather. That's right. Oh my god. Oh my god. My academic abilities are on peak right now. That's right. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever made? Spork. That's. <laughs> Yes! Sign me up! Oh my god. What food is best for a broken heart? <laughs> what? I don't, I don't even know what question that was. That's right! It's like a good boy. He's a talking dog that he's the Okay, this is ridiculous. This is a ridiculous game. That's right! Your total score is perfect score. Yay! Wow! Be honest, did you cheat? You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to convince. I think you have a beautiful brain. <laughs> what? Hot. Hot diggity dog, Alex. You. Oh, hot diggity. It was a hot diggity dog. It was hot diggity, Alex. You scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Wow, the cafeteria is a nice, is as nice as any restaurant. 
but ever you've ever eaten that. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Did you smell that? That's that must be our lunch. It's, it smells crazy good. God. Everyone can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just want to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was Howdy Punks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was it's about lunch. Everybody cheers. But I shh Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said shh. In honor of our new semester, I've prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smell. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see the what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented. But are the rumors true? Is this... this <laughs> I was gonna say, it's... It's gonna be chicken. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its combinants glitter in the light. That looks so good. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. You're making me hungry, man. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and sick. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to rumble, as if as if, as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I've, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve my, the perfect balance of flavors. Then look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and a scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What? You think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Nah, my dude. Nah. I... <laughs> I'm just, uh, drafting a last will and testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is a uh, poison. Got him. Got him, sorry. He looks around nervously to see if any if anyone else is laughing in a sick room. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, I was, yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. <laughs> Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment, I knew, I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Can we have KFC tonight? I want KFC. Oh, this dude, I'm going crazy. I want the chicken that he had, that he made it. I want that chicken. I don't care if it's fake, it's just an anime, but I want that chicken. You see your body change form, change, you see your body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that, she, that he is destined for greatness and, and frame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Mm. Oh, please. Mm. Well, Van Van the Man Man, if you don't, if you don't want it, I'll take his, I'll take his! Hold, whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts, 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 he star
supporting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and, unimpre and act unimpressed. Easy now! There's enough for everyone! Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing! Tasting Colonel Sanders food transports you to another dimension! What? Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your head, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and medicate on the moment, trying to identify every flavor. See where the moment is. Towards the light. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful. Pure, heavenly. What a guy. Alone with the flavors. I'm, you feel something that can only be described as love for a man. For a flavor? Are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one on one time with Colonel Sanders. You approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I was. I, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for fellow chef. What exactly was all that shit? <gasps> Haha, how bold to come out and ask. Yes. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that would make me a, my fortune and establish my legacy for all times as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own I'd be willing to trade. No, it's space! What's the rush? This semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not gonna give out the easy, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learn if you want. Got me Moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then he leads in. You feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use. No! 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 What is it? Wow, you. Uh, you. You'd never guess that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. What was it? Why did you block it out? Do we ever know? While you're wrapped in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. Find Colonel Sanders outside, outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again, howdy. Sometimes I like to go outside of the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Where is this popular one? Oh, that's it. After I've graduated. It sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can, you can bet on that. Alone for the first time. If you, you figure now is a perfect moment to show your personality. Thank you. I'm gonna be modest about it. Yay! Well, I just want to say that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. The flavors were complex, comforting. Interpret play between salty, savory, and peppery. It was perfect. I appreciate that comment, Alec! Really? Why is my name capitalized? I'm sure you'll you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. 
We should head back inside when the next lesson starts. Oh shit. You step into a massing cooking arena where this where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place! It's magnificent! Finally we can just show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no! We have to show our stuff! What if I totally blow it? I'm not you're not going to blow anything, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creation. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam. Ma naturally, Miriam looks over you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two? That is, me and you, if it wasn't clear? Want to be my partner? Aww. Sure, Alec. I'll prepare a station. <laughs> oh, man. Without, uh, without, <laughs> without you as a partner, my enemy is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. Paper was with mm. Oh, my. Two potential partners. I'm sorry. So sorry, gentlemen. I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for him. Friend duties can be a little awkward. That's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? I'm gonna pick Pop. He's just, he's funny, okay? He's a funny guy. Sorry, Clank. I think Miriam will be partnering with Pop today. Pop gives us a big smile as he steps up into the same station as Mario. <laughs> I'm a chef! Oh no. He holds up a, a banana without peeling it and proudly eats the entire. Oh no. I think I picked the wrong option. It's. It's dis. It's disconsiderating, but Mario is too kind to act grossed out. I love your enthusiasm, Pop! She looks at you like, really, this kid? But it's too late to change your choice now. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking class with Alright, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide it up to the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints and a fire to make. You, you get the idea. That doesn't make any sense. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Let's try this one. D don't they, yeah, don't they sell like mashed potatoes and gravy? Yes! I've always been something. I've always, I, I've always been something of a down home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm and find comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes and gravy. I couldn't. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Exactly right. Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders cast a coy look at you causing your whole face to go beet red, embarrassed. You quickly turn away. I'll get the potatoes! No, please, let me... Per picking perfect produce is a passion. <sighs> Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners, mind no business. So, so, Sandra's heart is my business, and you better keep your fingers off my man. Mm. Someone call for me? What is this music? Oh no! Jeez, Van Van, I'm over here crushing on Alex's dreams. You're supposed to be taking care of her classwork. That was the deal, remember? 
for the Sanders returns. I'm full of peeled. I can't I can't speak over this. He tosses them into the boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh <laughs> howdy there, Ashley. Ben Ben. Are we working in a in a court instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looked like Alec was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mo me mentoring. I was gonna say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day we might be able to get up to my level. Ha, huh, doubt it. <gasps> Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' <laughs> ability to con- I can't read these words! Treat you without- worth- worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But- is the music still going? For Colonel, if you ask me- Oh my god, okay. Uh, no! My god! I might make a better partner for you than this thing that is positioning itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that we we cast complementary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense. Why is the music so loud? But only one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel. And if you don't watch out, Ashley's going is really going at you hard. You you need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Here we go, Colonel. I'm here to learn and express myself via my machine. No bickering with Parma Donuts. What was that word I just read? Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so with all due respect, so let's all respect the format, okay? You turn to Colonel Sanders to concern confirm that you are on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? A businessman respects all fair agreements, but the with contracts to handshakes, I took on Alec as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Based on your team's behavior. Oh my god! I say you're perfect for each other. Neither, neither of you has Alec's natural talent or their loyalty. Being def defended by Colonel Sanders leaves your feeling proud and full of potential you look at you look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in but he's nowhere to be found darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy step pot look down at your station and realize in this tension the moment your hands have been cooking on idle pilot distracted by the drama you've already crushed and boiled the potatoes in the creamy perfect creamy Mash texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It says if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out of which he pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering you your nearly finished potato dish. Oh my god, finally. I don't know how loud that was for you guys, but it was like so loud in my ear, so I couldn't even hear myself. Wait, he flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. That looks so fucking good. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to make out with that. Oh my god! Colonel Sanders hands the spork out to you. You reach out and grab a ho grab hold. I'm sorry, I'm so used to yelling. 
grab a hold of it. But he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same sport. For that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you feel, if you love something, set it free. Together you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift your heap, a heaping sporkle up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. Oh my god! No! Oh my god. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the score full of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face! Man, man, do something, do something! Scooping up a fingerful, man tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes it's delicious. Or by brother's revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold on right there, Alex! We do not waste food in the burn kitchen cooking area. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I have potatoes, face? Man, man rushes back over a covered dish in his hand. Oh my god. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I prepare the full meal. Gaze upon my speciali speciality. Braised tentacle of an octopus in my silky saltwater sauce. Pla plated on a battle axe. Blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. <laughs> You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have the first bite and will and you will all look with envy. Interrupting soup rushes at Van Bam, swipes the bite of the signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! Something about this dish is not strike my nose quite. I think the octopus was rushed. And it, it may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late, it has been eaten. I uh, left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. It killed him! Oh my god! What is this? Everyone step back! Don't take another bite! When you look back to the plate, the rest of his life, you know it's 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 up and popped him out. Pop winces in pain for just a moment and then reeling back into his oblivious cell. Oopsie! He's like poison! The entire class gathers to watch Pop's final moment. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They're as motionless as statues. Oh my god, finally. Oh my god. The music is finally done. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment, snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has included him against poison of all kinds. I'm not sure the professor's the professor's here to make enough money. Um, hello. I just turned to a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by all that, a really annoying. By that, a really annoying student and all this nonsense. Colonel Sanders approaches you. Sorry you had to go through that. Please let me walk you home. What? Like, for real? Oh, come on. She followed Colonel Sanders out of the room. <sighs> Just give him a minute to re relax from all that. At night, the school building has taken another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quads neon and glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. You 
before you go on, I want you to know they're not a great they're not a great representation of my skills. Did you even realize I was making them? They were amazing. Facing them reminded me of reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in the way that you find it smiling. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you develop it's been one day! Colonel Sanders? Yes, Al? There's <laughs> something I need to tell. Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef in the world has ever seen. And every day since I've started working towards a dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting, also lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights, we should follow our dreams with all our hearts that our soul may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. <sighs> hey no, I you shut up! I'm the one I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. <coughs> Are we forgetting that you freaking literally killed the guy? You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance you hear a long sigh. Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. Yeah. What the fuck? This sport monster is here to fight a hero. Ooh. What the fuck is this? I uh, I think I left the fridge door open later, nerds. How dare you threaten me just I was letting my guard down and concentrating with another chef on an emotional level. Be afraid, be afraid of me because I'm a monster, see? Is he rhyming on purpose or is that just a confidence? Or coincidence? But before you can discuss Syntax any further? It's a turn based fight sequence. What will you do? You're you're joking, right? You decide to defend! Which defense will you use? What is this? You close your eyes quick. But when you open them enough to squint and see sport monster across the ground, if for some reason this makes you feel more prepared for what comes next. Sportman's Sport Monster goes to attack. They spit hot grave at you. You take one damage. That lot That lot of good defense did. Attack! You decide to go on attack. Chat on. Chat on does two damage. You fire in his belly, made you stronger. You fire in your belly, made you stronger. Sport Monster is really Sport monster focuses their mashed mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? Attack! You decide to go in on the attack. Which attack will you use? Purple Love! The Purple Love does one damage. Sport monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble. They go in on the attack once again. Sport monster uses. You tensile, you take two damage per attack. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. You decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Buff up! No one can control this this buffness. You start to feel bloated and quite frankly. <laughs> you better attack soon, or you'll likely 
to explore. You decide to go with love and you attack. Click with love. You click with love does one damage. Spoke for his bruising cheese sauce, which is a lot of one. I wonder who is going to clean that up. Killing vulnerable smoke completes its ultimate attack. Rounded edge. Vile villain! Your region of terror stops here. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens! No soon will ever walk with quad and fear again. The monster mess with the wrong ship. Attack! You're ready for your final attack. You'll never survive my Serene load dead destruction does 10 damage! Spork monster is completely vaporized. Colonel Sanders looks on and on. Consider the, you continue to surprise me. The defeated monster left behind a special item. Appears to be, it appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon a closer inspection, 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 it's much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. Open up and find a library card tucked inside. The last. Name to have been signed. Who signed it out is Borco. Hmm. Borco? That name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding a mysterious book in your hands. As you, as you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. So, any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. Is this BTS up here? <laughs> image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home in your tired state. Don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy! You want to thank him, but you don't have to strike to utter a single word. You feel the, your covers being pulled up over you as you're tucked in tightly. Good night, my comrades. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love dreams of the wild. Oh, weird. <laughs> God. You wake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were, the, were they memories or pre-motions? And then there was a secret ingredient that Colonel went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, right? It's probably because he already trusts you so much. I'm sure that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the sport master, she launches into a story for all. I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be uh, I think I might be like pop. Huh? Like him? Like, like, like? Or, like. Oh. I know it sounds like it's moving too fast. There's something about him I like, I like him. Like, like him. We've got to talk, we've got to talk to him after class. And he's actually a total sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that Colonel Sanders enlisted in the army when he was only three? Is this true? Not only that, but he founded a special unit of super soldiers who all wear the same hat. Just because he put a hat on one time and thought it was cool. 
but Colonel Sanders doesn't even wear a hat. He wears a ribbon tie. Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took a slug with, the, with this new boy. Like, I am... Like, I am with Colonel Sanders. You are Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student to ever attend University of School Learning for Academy for Learning. You're a thing now? We definitely connected yesterday. Ah ha ha, sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't we be in school, I guess? Laughing at the implication that even Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? The best his eyes are hmm. A secret ingredient? Yeah. I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the Pontacan Garden when I was wandering. Just can't begin. He told me all about his passion for spices, secret spices. The man gave me some to show what he, what he meant. He said it was for, it was a powder created for a super duper rare dried flower petal. And if and if I if if I did him a big favor, I could I could have some of my own. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice. He even met me at the gate when I arrived later when I cooked with them. A very strange feeling came over me. Flower was unlike anything I've ever tasted before. Every, it was unlike anything I've ever tasted. I think you're being very liberal with the meanings, but li liberal? What? Li liberal <laughs> with the meaning of spices here. Whatever. Anyway, we both share an interest in cooking, so we stayed in touch. You know, like pen pals. I'm sure he would love to know more more about a new spice. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sir, Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it would be much you stand on. Uh, <coughs> Fibber. <coughs> please, please, please. It would mean the world to me. No one has ever, no one has to know it came from you, Colonel Sanders. What do you think? Should we protect Cyril Sanders' secret or share it with your best friend? I'm not gonna tell him a secret. You can probably think of a fake ingredient. Damn. I don't know. How about it was I of mute? Mute. I think I know. I sounds like some kind of witch's potion. But what can you do? I of newt. Wow. Her eyes light up. Imagine such a thing and could and figure that satisfy her curiosity should move on. However, she really turns around and does some thumb typing on a phone that you can't quite see. It's probably not there. Before you ask her to confirm, she was definitely not texting secrets to other people you're interpreting. A wind rushes and cherry blossoms fall in the air. <laughs> Here he comes! Oh. What?! Colonel Sanders! He's arriving in school! Why do you have a pierce? <sighs> Colonel Sanders was is truly a thing of beauty. <laughs> Without ever acknowledging that he is being watched, he does a short horse dance. He does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish that slaps the beautiful creature gently on its horse, sending it running free to the countryside. 
You're so struck by the sight of him that you just ignore him to speak coherently. Oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching Toba. He knows his way home. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the, but the words don't come out exactly right. What a forceful butte you have. I mean, what a forceful butte you have. Dang it! That's what I just said. Being a good friend, and then attempts to protect you. Oh, Alec just gets really nervous around people they like. What? That's not helping! I mean, they got food poisoning and were up all night. It was gruesome. You should have seen it. She gives you a wink and a smile, as if to say, Situation handled. Keep waiting, girl, for trying. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears in the school, leaving the Mary of the body. Fall, follow. When you enter the classroom, you, s you can see two rivals, Ashley and Bantha. They're doing something bad. By the way, they're hi by the way they're hiding. You know it must be really bad. Like counterfeiting recipes, bad. Experimenting restricted ingredients. Bad. Summoning a demon. Bad. Try and peek over Van Van's hulking shoulder. But he sees you coming. Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle uh. this. Why don't you make it, make it like a bee and mind your own wax, honey? To really dress the rivals down from their immature behavior. Culinary school is to be respected. This kind of nonsense is a waste of everyone's time. <laughs> now you've upset them. <sighs> oh no. Oh, it, you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules. <gasps> I'm not sure you know a good meal if you ate if it ate you. Being the best chef in the world. It takes more than culinary schools. It takes creativity. It takes panache, whatever. And it doesn't hurt to use a little evil. Finally, get to look at what they were hiding and instantly recognize it. It's a buck. It's like the one you found at the other counter with the spoiled monster. It's the same book I found last night in the plot. Ashley immediately elbows Van Van who hides the book <sighs> behind his back. I don't know what you're talking about. That book is a family heirloom and it could in its continents are secret. You notice that they haven't been starting the book. They've got popped into the wall and they're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. We're playing, hee <laughs> hee. Before you can dig in any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Beep beep. Clank. Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry he goes right over Van Van's meat foot. <gasps> hey, watch it, you bucket of faults. You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. Bzz, womp. <sighs> Who do you think you're talking to? I've never seen such language, not even from a stand mixer. Womp womp. Does that say womp womp? I didn't see what it said. No, your mother was just, was just standing. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Pan jumps to the top of Like shocks fans suddenly flying across the room. <laughs> Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about are about to come to blows. I think I might I think it might must be over be over with. I'm not interested in either of them. Ashley's tone has completely changed it instantly. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. Surely he must know that this is a ruse, right? Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena, or at least at least, I don't, or don't, honestly. What do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. 
Maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then Sprinkles arrives. The signal the true start of the class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a professor, and he's also a dog. Students, students, please take your seats. I apologize for my late arrival. I've spent the morning chasing a car around the all, all around town, and my tiny legs are very, very tired. Does it say car or cat? I read cat as car. Because... Anyway. But I'm here now, and I hope you're ready to learn. Rub his furry belly, he loves it. After he catches his breath. Sprinkles regains control to the classroom. Without any further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite food, the chicken. Okay, well, I think I think I'm actually gonna stop it here. Cause oh my god, I'm tired. Anyway, <laughs> all right. So, do people actually like eat KFC? Like, is it just something people casually do? Um, yeah. Yeah, people. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's actually a, like a tradition to actually eat KFC on Christmas in Japan or something. Or China, something somewhere in the world, it's like a tradition to do that. Yeah, people do that. I I've eaten KFC before, so I want KFC now. Want my mom for some KFC. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll play this game again. This is such a long game. Oh my god. Anyway. Well, let's all hope that I get KFC tonight, guys. Thanks for watching.